Hi guys! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Guys, for today's episode, it's our annual tradition because I will be sharing to you my updated entire luxury bag collection 2023. Yes, I am actually really excited and a little bit nervous at the same time because guys, would you believe it? I have already accumulated 27 bags in total under my collection. I would be sharing both luxury and contemporary brands and of course 27 may be a few number for some but for me guys honestly it is a lot so I would not be doing an entire review on each of the bags maybe I would just be sharing what I love maybe a little bit of cons but most of these bags guys I have already done a first impression review so just make sure you check my past videos and I don't want this video to be a million years long but guys I am inviting you to just relax sit back and watch until the end of our episode Hi guys, Ron here, Soaking Budgetarian Fashionista. I publish vlog every Wednesdays and Saturdays about lace, about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to please join our ever-growing fam. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramirify2 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright, so guys, the way that we are going to do this is I'm going to share you my entire luxury collection per brand. And of course, please stay tuned at the end of this episode because perhaps I would be sharing to you my either top 2 or top 3 among my 27 bag collection. Let us begin. Let us start first with my bags that are just one-offs, meaning I don't have any other luxury brands for that bag. And I always wanted to start my luxury bag collection with my very first purchase. It would be my Givenchy Antigona Size Mini. So as you can see, so this one started it all. This is the very first luxury bag that I purchased direct from Givenchy here in the Philippines. And I think that is around, if I'm not mistaken, around... 2013 or 2014 so this is my very first bag and she has been with me so much so the material is box calf leather and her hardware is rose gold the size is mini but definitely I could bring everything with me so like for example as you can see the phone is bigger it comes with two top handle it comes with a non-detachable strap this one is the first edition of the Givenchy Antigona unfortunately because this has been with me for a while now and I kind of neglected this. Initially, I was hiding it inside somewhere where it's humid. So what the glazing has kind of melted as you can see here and also on the top handles and also with the strap. Good news is I'm already talking to a bag spa and they said that they could definitely refresh this one and bring this back to life. So this is my first bag. And of course, the next bag that I would like to discuss would be the one of the cheapest bags in my collection. I have discussed this in my 20 US dollar haul. So of course, I have the three bags with me. So first, I have the Chloe bag. So this one, the Chloe bag, the material, if this is not Napa leather, I'm guessing this is lambskin because it is very smooth. I love the color of this one. It's beige and it is very easy going. She is very carefree and definitely... The size is very good. I could carry this one all around with me. I like this one. This is one of a workhorse kind of bag. I don't baby her that much. Then of course, the next bag on that unboxing would be my Marc Jacobs leather tote bag. So as you can see here, the color um, on the screen, it is showing a little bit red orange. But looking at it, it is more red and then as you can see it has very beautiful gold hardware this is a turn lock so for you to open just twist it and then once you open we are going to see the classic Marc Jacobs fabric lining she has one pocket inside I also love this bag guys um this has been with me yes I just purchased this this year but I have worn this to that every time that I need something you know like this, this is best suited as a work bag every time that I would have an exhibit, fashion exhibit. Where I don't need to baby my bag, then definitely I would be carrying my Marc Jacobs tote bag. So you could carry this as a top handle. You could even carry this one as a shoulder bag. The third bag on that unboxing, let me just get her. It would be my vintage Loewe Paseo bag. Yes, yeah, so this one, 
among the three, this is my most favorite, definitely. And this is my very first Loewe bag. This one, the touch of the leather, guys. OMG, I keep on mentioning this every time I would be discussing this. This is one of the smoothest leather in my collection. Maybe same with the Chloe. This one, so this is a shoulder bag slash hobo bag style. She has one anagram logo in front over here. She has this handle and she has a magnetic lock closure. We have one zippered pocket. Here is the Loewe logo and it has the authenticity number. The lining is fabric and this one guys again it could carry my entire life. So these three bags that I've discussed, this one the Marc Jacobs and of course the Chloe bag. These are my workhorse bags. So every time that I would be wanting to a grab and go bag, definitely I would be getting these three. I love, love, love these three bags of mine. All right, so the next bag would be my MCM Vanity Rockstar bag. So this one, guys, I purchased this from our trip in Beijing in China when we visited the very beautiful country. So the main material is, if I'm not mistaken, is coated canvas with black leather trim. If we are, and of course, guys, the hardware is made of gold. I have read on the website one trivia that you may not know. The hardware, this one, is made of 24 karat gold hardware just like with Chanel because this has been with me um, for more than I think seven years now but look at the hardware. It's still very gold just like the Chanel vintage gold. It's very shiny and this one it's very structured so I don't have any difficulty in opening and closing the bag. So once you open, so she has the suede like interior so let's just remove this so she looks like this and this also comes with a detachable and adjustable black leather strap the strap of this one i love because it is adjustable so i use it normally for my alma bb so this one i love love this one i was inspired by rihanna the reason why when i saw this in beijing i said i want to take this home with me all right the next bag in my collection would be this very beautiful Prada bag. So the name of this bag is kind of slipping but I'm just going to put it on the screen here. So this is uh, considered as a micro bag. As you can see, she is very teeny tiny and could sit on top of the palm of my hand. And just to give you a brief comparison with my Alma BB. So this is the Alma BB. This is the Prada, Prada's version of the Alma BB. So as you can see here. I think this one is the same size as the Louis Vuitton Nano Alma and that is one of the reasons why I am no longer interested in purchasing the Nano Alma aside from that one being very very expensive so this one guys I so so love this bag the material is Safiano leather it's in metallic silver and here is the plaque of Prada over here she comes with the Safiano leather adjustable strap it is fully detachable and she comes with clochette like this and this is the back and she comes with four feet honestly guys comparing this one to the Louis Vuitton Nano Alm I think this one is more substantial because as you can see here she comes with feet she comes with clochette and um, the Nano Alma doesn't come with that. So I purchased this one direct brand new from our Prada store here in the Philippines. And I'm so lucky during that time because during um, pre-pandemic, uh, our Prada store here would normally have sales. And I purchased this one on a very good deal. So also, I have just recently discovered my iPhone 11 Pro. So this is not the Max. If you have this... I think the name of this one is Prada Promenade Bag. So this one could fit on my, let me just do it, there. So my Pro could actually fit inside. And with that, guys, I told myself definitely I could bring my Prada bag again. And last for this category would be my Coach Tabby 20. So here she is. So you know the story. So I purchased this one brand new from our Coach store. But the best part is she was on more than 50% sale. Um, initially, I passed on this one. But I just, you know, it kept on hunting me. It kept on 
living inside my mind rent free so I called the CA of coach and I told them I would be getting it so please reserve it for me so she did and luckily I was able to bring this home with me um, also guys I would like to share uh, the very first time that I was monetized in YouTube this is one of the bags that I purchased that's why this is very memorable for me and would never ever leave my collection so the material as you can see here it is a combination of smooth leather and we have grain leather here this, this one, the size is 20 centimeters. She comes with a top handle and she comes with a detachable and adjustable strap, crossbody strap. So meaning you could wear her as a crossbody strap. So as you can see here, she is very spacious. I love this one. Also, the material of this one is carefree. I love the silver hardware as you can see. So normally, I would be carrying this one as a top handle and normally, I would be carrying it as a crossbody bag. Right, so for the next bag would be Moschino. So this one guys currently I have three bags so the very first Moschino bag that I purchased would be this very beautiful Moschino shoe bag over here so I'm sure you have seen this on one of my rarest bag collection so this is an actual shoe so this is a size 37 or size 7 shoe and it comes with a very beautiful zipper over here so what could fit inside this bag aside from your patience definitely your lipstick lip gloss um, credit card folded bills so she is still you know a bag that you could use for parties and as you could see in front there is the very beautiful yellow gold Moschino logo and she comes with a fully detachable gold chain strap with leather interweaving just like with the chanel hardware so she could carry this one as a crossbody bag and you could carry her as a top handle bag if for example you want to shorten the strap the sec so this one guys i purchased brand new from moschino in hong kong so i so love this bag even though i'm not using this as much because you know it bring so much good memories definitely this is staying with me the next Moschino bag that I purchased would be when we went to Shanghai so this one I purchased also brand new from Moschino in Shanghai so this is the Moschino trash can bag this is a runway piece and I feel I'm so lucky to have this in my collection so this one once you open like this so this is made of leather and it comes with I think plastic and of course the strap same with that one it comes with the leather interweaving straps over here and you could open like this on the inside she has a fabric interior and if for example my phone pro 11 pro she fits in perfectly in there so you could use this as a party bag so again love this bag such a statementy bag that is why i so love this style and the last moschino bag in my collection let me just get her this one i purchased from the h m x moschino collaboration and it is the moschino condom bag the material is like black latex it's kind of rubbery and looks like patent so as you can see in front it says moschino and at the back it says ready to wear and if you're going to notice there is like the shape of a giant round condom and then of course she has this very beautiful yellow gold strap that is also unfortunately non-detachable on top she has a kiss lock mechanism so this is more of like a party bag so as you can see here she has like card slots inside unfortunately the phone would not fit inside but you know your basic essentials definitely could fit in i so love my moschino bags like this so these three so i've mentioned on my rare bag collection although these three bags i rarely use now because uh, i couldn't put as much as i wanted to but since the rarity of these bags um since most of these are runway pieces so this is from a runway collection this is from a runway collection definitely i would be keeping this in my collection and would be never ever selling these beautiful bags the next two in my collection this is my recent birthday gift this year and i am so in love with it both of these are wish list bag for 2023 so the first one it is very beautiful crystal knot bag so i would also just like to share that 
Guys, this is one of the bags in my collection. It's not a luxury brand. It is neither a contemporary brand. I just purchased this one online and I've just chatted with the seller what's the crystal made of. So when she confirmed that this is not made of plastic, I immediately said yes. So as you could see, you know, she sparkles really well. And when I have received this one, I scream on top of my lungs how gorgeous this bag is. She is very weighty in the crystals, guys. It's really has a very good quality and that is the reason why I immediately purchased the gold version so like this so if for example your bags are stuffed it would look like this but it has a slouch like this very beautiful slouch um, this is a crystal knot bag so as you can see the top handle she has knots like this and as you can see it shines like the other so I've named this bag Stardust and I named her Sparkle so what do you think of my crystal bag as you can see they shine like very very beautifully right, so the next brand is Fendi I really love Fendi I have a couple of bags from them so let us start first with a vintage Fendi pochette bag as you can see so this is the Fendi pochette it comes with a strap so this is comparable to the Louis Vuitton pochette access well unfortunately the leather strap is already worn out so I am no longer using it um, the material is the brown Zuka canvas here so the canvas is very sturdy as you can see it is doesn't scratch very easily and guys um i bought this one pre-love online and luckily when i went vintage hunting i was able to locate this vintage fendi strap over here so as you can see it says fendi italy and it has gold hardware so i have just attached it so i could wear this one as a shoulder bag and definitely the way i love carrying this fendi pochette would be cross body like this so it's very low it's above my waist area which i am so loving so this one the size of this one is very good to carry then the next um fendi bag in my collection this one guys another baby of mine so i don't have any louis vuitton never full but i have a huge Fendi tote bag over here. I'm not really sure of the name of this tote bag. So this is a vintage tote bag made of very thick fabric or jacquard canvas and it has the signature Fendi stripes. Um, I think this is a Paquin if I'm not mistaken Paquin print and it has like a black epi leather trips and it, we are going to see it has very beautiful gold hardware. So this one I purchased pre-love as well. So the reason why I am no longer in need of large tote bag is because I already have this. So I love this bag. For example, a very good work bag. Definitely it could fit everything here. My laptop, my life, huge water bottle. So for example, this could also be a good travel bag. So I also love, you know, the structure um, canvas and um, we, I was sitting down and I'm not sure if you could notice the Fendi canvas like this she has letterings like this and when it's inverted you can read the logo Fendi over here all right so the next Fendi in my collection is a Fendi baguette so this is the very first Fendi bag to be honest in my collection and it is the very beautiful micro Fendi baguette so I purchased this one brand new from our Fendi store here in the Philippines way way back it also comes with a leather strap um that you could wear this as a crossbody and it comes with this very beautiful gold chain over here that is also fully detachable so you can carry her as a top handle you could carry this one as a crossbody bag so this is the inside so as you can see suede leather she has um two compartments she has card that so let me check if my 11 would fit so no so 11 pro would not fit but if you have a smaller phone definitely you could fit inside but what i love most about this bag is since the top handle is fully detachable it is actually made to be used as a bag charms like this so i've used it multiple times as a bag charm and then the best part is normally i would be using it as a bag charm for my larger fendi baguette which is this one over here so this is a vintage beaded fendi baguette that i purchased pre-love from a japanese consignment store and guys omg this one i so 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 love this fendi baguette as you can see she is made entirely of white rice beads she has leather trims um this one is also covered in leather she has very beautiful leather strap and on the inside so leather over here and she has 
let me just remove so I have a bag organizer so on the inside so you can see she is very spacious she is very malleable and I again whenever I am carrying this bag I'm carrying her like this or as a top handle again I'm very inspired by Carrie Bradshaw with this one she could fit all my essentials for parties for dinner then of course as mentioned earlier normally whenever I'm carrying this I'll be carrying this one so I would be carrying it like this what do you think so we have a mommy Fendi baguette and a baby Fendi baguette and again I am so lucky to have a beaded Fendi baguette because this is so rare nowadays. Alright, so if you are still here with me, thank you very much. The next luxury brand that we are going to discuss is Ferragamo. So currently I have two bags and I have just unboxed them very recently. Alright, so the very first Ferragamo bag that I would like to share, so I have unboxed this very recently, is my Ferragamo Iconic Top Handle Bag. So I purchased this one Pila from a Japanese consignment store. So here is she. She is made of black patent leather. This is the front, side, back. So the back, she doesn't have any back pockets. And this is the bottom part that doesn't have any feet. So I love this iconic Organchini logo. And for you to open, just flip. And then you can open. So her interior is all genuine leather she has two main compartments she is made in Italy as you can see here I have wrapped the top handle with twillies over here so I could give her a little bit more of color so you can definitely carry this one as a top handle unfortunately she doesn't come with any d-ring and I'm unable to convert this yet as a crossbody bag so guys I'll also like to share the size of this one over here this is 24 centimeters so just a comparison with the Alma BB for your reference so this is the size comparison so I so so love this bag whenever I am carrying this one I know I have just recently received her but I have already carried her multiple times and people are actually gushing over this how beautiful this bag is maybe they're not really familiar of the style and again i am so loving this quiet luxury bag of mine that is why i purchased a second ferragamo bag that i just recently unboxed this month and it is the one the top handle bag yes so her material now is the very beautiful black smooth leather or box calf leather with silver hardware as you can see here this is the silver hardware she is made in Italy so for you to open click like this and flip it like this and you could see it's gusseted so she has one main compartment one zippered compartment and she comes with a detachable strap so you could carry this as a crossbody bag so this one guys the size of this one it's 32 centimeters across over here definitely she is bigger than the Alma BB. I so love this style. She is very different. She's very unique. Although I think this is already a vintage bag, but just look at her. From the time that this has been released, I feel that this bag is ahead of its time. So now the newer style is almost the same. I think the newer style would only come like with a little bit of wings over here on the side. But honestly, I prefer this style. So I carry this as a top handle. But mostly, guys, whenever I'm going out, I'm carrying her as a crossbody bag. And again, loving these two bags. So people are not really much familiar with Ferragamo, especially with these two styles. That is why I could consider this bag on the quiet luxury bags in my collection. And I so love carrying this one anywhere I go, even though, for example, I would be commuting, right? Riding a bus, riding a train, I would not be afraid carrying my very beautiful Ferragamo bags. Alright, so the next brand that we are going to discuss is Chanel. So for Chanel, I have four bags. So the very first one I would like to share is this vintage Chanel vanity bag. Her material is black patent leather with 24K gold hardware. So this one I purchased from a Japanese consignment store. I think this is the very first um, Chanel bag that I purchased from Japan from online shop and I so love this one I feel I got really lucky on this one as well although the patent leather is not on perfect condition but again she is there are no stickiness there are no whitish substances so once we open on this one so this one so there is already wear and tear on the handle so this is a 24 karat gold hardware so she has gold zipper over here so luckily when i got this one she comes with the serial sticker and she also comes with the 
card over here so I'm not really familiar on how to read again the number but this I think is years 3 so if I'm not mistaken the years 3 bags those are made from the 1994 to 1996 so um, this bag is how old already so let me just close her so also what I did, so this normally would not come with a shoulder strap but I just attached a twilly on the top handle and I purchased this um, V-rings over here online and I have attached this very beautiful chain strap so I could carry her as a crossbody and I could wear carry her as a crossbody like this. Alright, so the next Chanel bag that I would like to share to you, this one, so you know the story, so this is the Chanel Rodeo Drive flap bag in the very beautiful metallic perforated leather so this is very different from the classic style of Chanel but I so love this one again I did not purchase this Chanel bag luckily I traded one of my Balenciaga belt bag that I was not using and the seller of this one luckily traded this very beautiful bag with me so once you open so as you can see she has one main compartment with zippered compartment at the back so when I traded this one when I have received this she still has the serial sticker and the authenticity card again all of my Chanel bags yes I purchased them pre-love but I have them authenticated via Zico so I have a review actually with this one also the comparison of the Zico versus the Unshopee um, authentication so because I trust Zico more in authenticating Chanel bags so this is the metallic silver lining and on the inside it's fabric um, surprisingly um, initially I wasn't really in love with this bag uh, I put it on for sale on my carousel account but surprisingly every time that there is a fashion show an evening party especially if whenever I'm carrying metallic this is my go-to bag so she is very carefree also and I love the space so the strap drop is very generous as you can see here so um, she's very squishy so whenever there's a party I have drinks on my hand and my bag is safely secured plus of course the size of this one is 26 centimeters so it means I could carry most of the essentials that I need for that party or for that event Alright, so the third Chanel bag that I would like to share to you this one is also I so love this very beautiful Chanel bag it is my Chanel full flap in beige Claire so again I'm not really sure of the exact name of this one so as you can see so she has this very beautiful 24 karat gold hardware a vintage Chanel as you can see guys most of my Chanel bags are vintage because I really do love the quality of vintage Chanel bags in my opinion but guys OMG the 24 karat gold plated hardware is you know very delicious in my opinion and they don't really fade just look at this one again I had this one authenticated via Zico even though she doesn't have any serial number or authenticity card Zico was able to authenticate that this is 100% a Chanel bag so this one this is a third party so I just purchased this one online and the reason why I purchased this one because honestly this is one of my least used Chanel bag and the reason for that one is because as you can see the color is beige clear I'm really afraid of color transfer I don't want to mess her up the material is lambskin leather so here is the inside and of course it comes with this very beautiful chain strap guys I would also like to share a story because I've been hearing a lot like for lambskin it's very sensitive but if for example there are scratches they would buff it out so last October 13 I was carrying this one and guys I really don't believe October 13 but suddenly um, the strap the chain link snap off and guys this Chanel bag fell flat on the floor really really hard like my heart sank as well and there was like a mark of black mark over here and luckily I was able to remove it I used a leather cleaner and I buff it out with a, a fabric and it went away so as you can see she's very pristine looking so I'm so happy that I was able to remove that because I was thinking this is the only good Chanel bag in my collection and I ruined it that is why enter this pearl strap over here so I could carry her as a top handle and I would want to use her as much as I can the last Chanel bag that I would like to purchase unfortunately guys she is not with me but she is the Chanel queen the OG in my collection um, it is my 
vintage Chanel horizontal flap bag. Yes, so the reason why guys she is not here with me is because she is still in a bag spot. I set her there. Unfortunately, there is a little bit reaction on the underneath of the flap of that one because um, the material of that Chanel bag is black patent leather. So underneath of this side of that bag, the whitish substances of the patent leather. You could already see that. So luckily, I was able to find leather specialists and they said that they could bring her back to life. So I'm still waiting for that one. Once I have an update, definitely I would be sharing it to you. But of course, guys, I so love that Chanel bag. She is the queen. I love the size of this one. So she is like a classic bag, although she is a single flap she has 24k gold hardware could carry most of the essentials that i need also guys um i could transform this one from a day bag to evening bag and definitely that is one chanel bag that is never ever leaving my collection all right guys we are almost there again thank you if you are still here with me so the very last brand i would like to share with you of course is louis vuitton so i have a couple of bags from lv they're one of my favorite brands so first one guys i haven't shown this to our channel here it is this very beautiful Louis Vuitton canvas tote bag. So here is, I'm not really sure if this is the front, but here it is, Louis Vuitton, and here's the side. So this one, this is a free gift with purchase when we have traveled to Shanghai in China. Luckily, um, Louis Vuitton is doing an exhibition. It's for free. I was able to register, and we were able to get in for free, guys, honestly that exhibition omg that is one of the exhibits that i've been with in my entire life and i feel i'm so lucky to be able to see the entire history of lv from the founder to the different bags omg if i could find some videos i would be putting it here so this one um honestly i'm not really using this one uh, i was just checking out all of the bags before we started and i found this in my closet so i said okay i need to share this to you so this is actually the booklet that it came with the invitation as you can see here this is the title so that's Vule Vogue Voyages hopefully I am pronouncing that right and it would come with like um, history so I just purchased actually a book and once you purchase something from the gift shop at the end of the exhibit they would be putting it inside this very beautiful tote bag that's why I said with Yen together with him we need to buy something so we can get this very beautiful souvenir from that exhibition all right so the next Louis Vuitton bag this is the very first Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased here from the Philippines brand new and you know the story it is my Louis Vuitton petit sac plat yes yeah, so I just attached this very beautiful fluff over here so this fluff bag sharp i purchased from taiwan so you know the stories this is a micro bag uh, it could fit two phones a card holder and a lipstick and key then that's it she comes with a detachable but non-adjustable vachetta shoulder strap so this is the very first LV bag that I purchased when I saw this one OMG my jaw literally dropped and I said to myself with the price during that time I need to have this in my collection so I was in love with this bag then I fell out of love because again she is very small I could barely fit anything with it so I put this one up for sale but I fell back in love with this bag again and the reason for that one is when I have purchased a strap like a chain strap that looks like a Felici chain strap which is a little bit shorter so I fell in love with this one. I would be carrying this one and I would be carrying my Alma BB together. So now she, I remove her from my carousel account and she would be staying in my collection. Alright, so the next Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased directly brand new from our LV store is my Louis Vuitton Toiletry Pouch 26. So I was so lucky with my CE back then. So she messaged me she because she knew that I was asking for the Toiletry Pouch 26 even before um, it got discontinued. So this was like very rare during that time and there was a piece from Louis Vuitton Green Belt and I paid via the phone and i was able to reserve this one for me so this is a 26 size so normally you can use this as a toiletry or as a clutch but me i purchased a conversion kit and i am using this one as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag so she has a wipeable interior she still looks brand new i love this one because um i almost 
got this for free so I'm not afraid of carrying this one um, the canvas is very hard wearing and the bachetta is just very small just this one so I'm not afraid of water stays or anything like that that is why i so love my louis vuitton toiletry pouch and she is going to stay in my collection all right so the next louis vuitton bag that i would like to share so this is the very first the og of my luxury bag collection it is the vintage louis vuitton papillon bag in the black epi leather my jivon she's the very first luxury bag that i purchased brand new but this lv bag this is the very first luxury bag that i purchased pre-love from my best friend and guys i purchased it for a steal so quiet luxury bag i love that it comes with the baby bag charm over here very very spacious definitely could carry all the essentials that i need and what i love most about this bag aside from being quite luxury is that louis vuitton is now re-releasing this bag in the denim collection the exact same look with the exact same baby that is why i'm so happy that i'm keeping this in my collection so normally you could carry this as a top handle but i would be attaching a crossbody bag so i could carry her as a cross body bag as well all right so the last louis vuitton bag in my collection it is patience and you know her she is my louis vuitton alma bb from my lv world tour yeah so this is very special to me guys because i purchased this directly from our louis vuitton store here i pre-ordered this one together with my ca i am so in love with the customization process with the my lv world tour so i remove all the bachetta change it to the black smooth leather over here including the clochette even the top handle i changed the interior from the browns the classic brown to the red interior like this she comes with a black leather strap that is non-adjustable that is why i am not using that because the strap is kind of long for me then of course i added these very beautiful stickers over here i've been getting questions like how are the stickers going so far are they like fading or bubbling or any some sort so this is now one year in my collection and so far the stickers are still in perfect condition i think the reason for that one if for example if it's a mini pochette or a slg with stickers if you're going to put it inside your bag definitely they would rub off with the other stuff inside your bag maybe with your keys with your sunnies and that is the reason why some of the stickers would peel off so this one is still in perfect condition i so love this bag every time that i'm using this i'm getting lots of compliment and again um, the size is alma bb perfect for a day to evening if you could wear this in parties wear her as a casual bag by wearing her as a crossbody but one of the best way that i love carrying this one is i'm carrying this and i am carrying the petite sack that as a double bag fashion statement and definitely this would never ever leave my collection all right so guys as promised i will be revealing to you my top three bags among my 27 bag collection so guys this is very hard honestly i love all my bags in my collection if you're going to ask me if i'm going to let go some of them unfortunately as much as possible i think i was able to curate them um, the way I like them, I want it to be very unique, very different. So I'm not really sure if I will still be parting ways. But 27 is a lot. But choosing top 3, again, it's a little bit difficult. But the very first one, I think it would be... I'm thinking my crystal bags over here. So Sparkle or Stardust. And the reason is I those are one of my wish list bags. Yes, they are non-luxury bags. But OMG guys, they are really beautiful they sparkle like nobody's business they fit all the essentials that i need and every time there is a party i would be grabbing either the silver or gold sparkle bag and of course the second bag um, top two bag in my collection would be my chanel number one my vintage chanel horizontal flap bag so she's not with me so she is in a bag spa i'm praying that you know she gets home very safe and sound i can't wait to share to you um how she looks like really really soon but definitely i so so love that bag i feel that once she gets home i feel like i have a brand new chanel bag and last but not the least the top one on my collection guys i'm really sorry i love you all but it would be my louis vuitton alma bb i so love this one this is a very special bag for me so i so so love this bag because of course this is my very first custom made louis vuitton bag especially for me that is why i so love this bag and guys i would highly recommend get yours right away you could still purchase this from any louis vuitton stores or 
check louisvuitton.com. There, guys. So, hopefully, you enjoyed our episode for today. A little bit lengthy. If you have stayed until this part of this episode, again, a million thank you for staying it with me. And kindly leave me a bag emoji. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So again guys, before we end our episode, I'm inviting you to please join our ever-going fam. There's a cute little icon here. So please click on this one so you can easily subscribe and be a member of our growing luxury addicted family. Please like and share this video and follow me on my new Instagram account that's at Ramir52 for daily updates and styling tips coming from me. A million thank you for staying with me in today's episode guys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, stay safe and I will see you all soon. Bye!